Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Have you ever found yourself standing at the edge of light, peering into the shadows, and wondering what secrets they might hold? Imagine for a moment the ancient mystics who charted not just the stars above, but the inner workings of the soul and the cosmos itself. Tonight, we embark on a journey into one of the most enigmatic and profound aspects of Kabbalistic mysticism, the Cliffoth. Let's paint ourselves a picture, a canvas, as vast and as old as thought itself. The Kabbalah, a mystical tradition steeped in Jewish wisdom, speaks of the Tree of Life, a diagram of divine emanations that map out the path to spiritual enlightenment. But what of the spaces between these emanations, the shadows cast by this celestial tree? That, my friends, is where the cliffoth lie, in the dark orchard of the soul where the fruits of understanding are sometimes bitter to the taste. Now what happens when we pose a question that tickles the very roots of our being? What are the cliffoth, and why should we, as seekers of knowledge, dare to explore such a realm? It's a question that calls to the adventurer in us all, beckoning us to delve into the mysteries that lie just beyond the boundaries of light. Imagine we are explorers, not of lands, but of the mind and spirit, navigating through the complex branches of Kabbalistic lore. Each cleffa, each shell, husk, or shadow represents aspects of existence that are often ignored or suppressed. These are not the illuminated paths to higher consciousness, but the detours and pitfalls that capture the unwary traveler in a web of challenges and adversities. Consider for a moment the words of the great Kabbalist Isaac Luria, who spoke of the breaking of the vessels, an event where divine light became too intense for its containers, shattering them and leading to the creation of these cliffoth. This dramatic imagery suggests that within our flaws and in the fragments of our imperfections lies a profound truth. Just as a mosaic is beautiful for its broken tiles, so too can we find wisdom in the shattered pieces of our own experiences. Throughout history, the concept of the Klephoth has been both embraced and feared, woven into the fabric of Kabbalistic studies with a sense of caution and reverence. The 16th century saw a surge in Kabbalistic thought, with figures like Luria painting the spiritual landscape in which the Klephoth found a more structured place. These were not mere esoteric ideas, but mirrored the very real challenges faced by people during tumultuous times. Take, for example, the moral complexities that arise when we explore the Klephoth of Samael, often associated with severity and the tempting serpent of Eden. Imagine the ethical debates that must have raged as scholars and mystics grappled with the implications of this shadowy force. How do we reconcile the existence of such darkness within the framework of a divine and orderly universe? The Klyphoth have danced through the annals of culture, whispering their existence in literature, music, and even film. They show us that the shadows we fear might just be another aspect of light waiting to be understood. Take, for instance, the writings of Jorge Luis Borges, whose tales often touch upon the mystical and the labyrinthine paths that lead to secret truths. In his stories, the Cliffoth could be the unseen library of infinite shelves, holding knowledge that both enlightens and ensnares. In today's world, where the dichotomy of light and dark is often oversimplified, the Cliffoth still challenge us to think beyond the binary. They raise debates around the nature of evil, the purpose of adversity, and the journey towards self-discovery. Each Cliffa presents a philosophical conundrum a piece of the existential puzzle that engages both scholars and spiritual seekers alike. Understanding the Klephoth is to understand the importance of balance, the yin and yang of the spiritual realm. It's a testament to the idea that light cannot exist without dark, and that perhaps, in our quest for enlightenment, we must also navigate the shadows. The implications for our future are profound, as we consider the role of these concepts in shaping our approach to personal growth and collective evolution. As we draw the threads of this exploration together, we arrive at a statement that might just resonate within the core of your being. The pursuit of light is noble, 
but the acknowledgement of shadow is wise. To know one's full self, one must dare to confront the Clefoth, to learn from them, and to emerge perhaps a little wiser and a little braver. I want to thank you, truly, for walking this path with me tonight. It's a journey that we take together as fellow travelers in search of meaning. The world of the Clefoth is not one to be feared, but one to be respected, offering a different kind of light, the light of understanding that shines from within. And so as we part ways, ponder this. What shadows within you are waiting to be acknowledged? How might they inform your journey towards wholeness? I invite you to share your thoughts, to continue this conversation in the realms of your own contemplation. In the spirit of lifelong learning and the pursuit of wisdom, I bid you a warm and heartfelt good night. May the questions you carry with you bring forth answers, and may your answers bring forth even more questions. Remember, the quest never ends. It only deepens. <laughs>